good morning today we will discuss something about types of system call so actually we have different varieties of system calls out of which uh, mainly we will discuss these five types of uh, system calls so coming to the first one process control okay the process control system call is useful okay uh, to deal with the processes such as process creation process termination etc so here when we create a process we will have different uh, different types of uh, operations will perform on a process like creating a process and after creating a process we will keep that process in a ready state then we will keep that in execution state while executing if it needs any data to be given again we will keep that in waiting state after waiting state again we will keep it in ready state and again after that we again will keep it in execution state if it is executed uh, finally we will keep it in terminated state okay so we will start then it will be kept in ready state then it will be kept in execution state it may be kept in waiting state again from waiting state it may be kept in ready state and again execution terminated state so first a process will be created start or create first a process will be created or started after creating a process what we do is we will keep it in ready state after keeping it in ready state then we will execute that while executing meanwhile if it need if we need if the process needs any data and again it should be kept in waiting state okay once it gets uh, whatever the data it requires again that will be kept from writing the uh, waiting state to ready state and once it is kept in ready state again it will be executed okay once that execution is completed then it will be terminated okay this is this is the process that takes place with respect to a process okay right that is that is process control this entire process uh, we comes under process control come to the second one file management file management so here these uh, this uh, file management system call is responsible for creating a file reading a file writing a file etc so here also so we will perform different uh, operations with respect to a file like uh, creating a file reading a file writing a file appending a file okay deleting a file like that so we will different uh, file operations will perform like create read write append delete relocation etc we have different uh, operation different file operations we will have create a file means creating a new file next uh, reading a file writing a file means writing some content into the file okay then append append means uh, adding two or more files so deleting a file relocate means we may place the file from one location to another location at the same time we may give some file permissions like uh, if we keep r like this the file is uh, the file is having only read operation if we keep like this r w the file is having a read permission as well as write permission if we keep like this read w the file is having read permission write permission execute permission okay all this comes under file management next we have device management okay so the system was responsible for device manipulation such as reading from device buffers writing into device buffers so device management device buffers are nothing but uh, a buffer is nothing but a buffer is a temporary storage device a buffer is nothing but a buffer is a device storage a, a buffer is nothing but it's a memory storage device okay so for reading reading uh, some data we will be using this buffer a device buffer is useful for reading some content or writing some content into that buffer okay so for that also we will be using this device uh, management next coming to the we will see the examples in the next slide coming to the information maintenance these systems uh, they will handle the uh, information 
to tra and it transfers uh, that information between the operating system and the user program. If the user program and operating system, if there is a transfer of data is required between the user and the operating system, then we will be using this uh, information maintenance is useful or helpful. This, this uh, information maintenance system is useful for transferring the data between the user and the operating system. Coming to the last one is communication. So in order to establish, in order to establish the communication, inter-process communication, IPC. So we will be using uh, this uh, communication system call is useful. Okay, they also deal with the creating and deleting communication, communicating connection. Okay, this system call is useful for establishing the connection between two or more devices, right? Okay, we will see the examples for this system call. So... Coming to the first one, we have, as we have discussed, coming to the first one, we have, uh, see, types of system calls, okay. So, what command we will be using in Windows and what command we will be using in Linux. Coming to the first one, process control, okay. For creating a process, we will be using create process, exit process, okay, wait for single object. This is what we will be using in Windows, whereas in Linux commands, we will be using fourth exit wait. So, we have already discussed the command fork. Fork is used for creating a new process. Similarly, execute. This is also used for creating a, creating a new process. Okay, whereas a fork, if a process P1 creates a new process P2, so here this is the parent process and this is the child process. If we use fork, a new process will be created from this parent uh, process. So both this will be existing and this will be existing. Both the process will be existing in if you use the command as fork. If you use execute, <coughs> if you use execute, what happens is the parent process will be terminated. Only the child process will be available. And now if we create one more, this will be uh, this will be existing and this will be terminated. This is what was the difference between fork and execute. Okay. So, so for Windows we will use create process. In Linux we will be using fork. Exit process, exit. Wait for single object, wait. This is what we will be doing. Coming to file management. So, for creating a file we will be using like this, create file. Here simply we will write open. Read file, read. Write file, write. Close handle, close. So, these are different operations we will be using uh, on a file with respect to Windows operating system and Linux operating system. Coming to the device management. So, set console mode means keeping in ready state. IOCTL. That is the command we will be using in Linux. Next, read console, read operation. For performing write operation, write console, write. Similarly, information maintenance. Information maintenance is nothing but uh, what is the process ID, current process ID, what is the exact time. Okay, so see, so in information maintenance, here get current pass process ID. So this is the command we will be using in Windows. In Linux, we will be using get PID. Get PID is nothing but get the process ID. So set timer. So here we will set, we will simply use alarm. So here sleep, there also sleep. Next, communication. In order to establish communication between two or more processes, in Windows we will be using create pipe. Okay. Uh, there pipe. Here create file mapping. There uh, SHM get. Okay. So map view office. MMAP. So these are uh, different uh, examples or these are uh, five different system calls and these are different uh, Sample commands you will be using in different operating systems like Windows and Linux. Okay. So, this is something about the types of uh, system call. Thank you.